um, we are stepping up on our testing uh, as we step out of uh, circuit breaker period. So as of 2nd of June, what we have done is in stepping up testing one of the priority areas is that for all students above 12 years old and all staff of schools, they will be, when they are presented to a doctor with symptoms, uh, ARI symptoms, acute respiratory infection symptoms, they will be tested, PCR tests. Uh. So this is what we have been doing since the 2nd of June. Uh. So uh, arising from this operation throughout this week, we have picked up five infection cases. Uh. So there are four students and one non-teaching staff. They come from five different schools, which is a clear indication this is not a cluster. Uh, all five have mild symptoms. In fact, when they were first detected, it was uh, registered that the viral load is low. And so yesterday, all of them, were new samples were taken and they were retested. And the retested result showed that they all turned out to be negative. So actually, if today they are tested negative again, they can be discharged. Uh, but notwithstanding, they will be deemed as confirmed cases and will be reported in today's numbers. Um, so MOHs, based on all this uh, evidence, they are, they are, their assessment is that they are not likely to be infectious when they were currently or when they were in school. Uh, and many of, uh, all of them developed symptoms Wednesday or earlier. Amongst all five, one did not come to school because it wasn't his turn to come to school. Uh, the other four did. They came to school. Uh, while in school, they were well, they were masked up, and they observed all the safe distancing measures. And the, the different classes did not mingle or mingle to a very minimal extent. And based on this, we have done our contact tracing about 30 staff and 100 students will be issued either leave of absence for 14 days or quarantine and they will not be coming to school for the next 14 days. Eh? And all the classmates and staff who are on quarantine, they will be swapped and tested before they serve their quarantine and the end of quarantine, they will be swapped again. So that is to ensure that when they come back to school, they will all be safe and well. Um, I just want to end my remarks with two things. One is all of us must play our part and particularly in the school environment, if you are sick, if any of your family members are sick, you are excused. Don't come to school because the risk of you bringing in a virus is a real one. Second is that as we step, we have always said we will, we will step up testing but as we do so, what it will also mean is that we will discover more cases. Yeah. And, in, and I think it's important that we can detect these cases early, identify the close contacts, and quarantine them, and trace them, and quarantine them. Then the environment will be safer.